This morning, more than a dozen people injured in a school bus accident in WA. A little boy fighting for life after being struck by a car in Sydney. Charges laid after angry student protests took over city streets. And not amused, the comedy act that left Prince Charles feeling a little uncomfortable. This is 10 Eyewitness News with Hermione Kitson. Good morning. First, we have some breaking news out of Melbourne. The Monash Freeway has been shut down amid reports police are in a standoff with the driver. It's believed the driver was travelling on the wrong side of the road prior to the incident. The bomb squad is on its way to the scene and we will bring you more details on this story as it comes to hand. Dozens of people, mostly children, have been taken to hospital after a school bus ran off the road and into a ditch northeast of Perth overnight. Still to come on 10 Eyewitness News, we'll tell you the worst airport for flight delays. Plus in sport with Scott McKinnon. The Blues try to stamp out their booze, booze culture in the build-up to the state of origin. That and some good news on Alex McKinnon. Plus more pain at the Giro d'Italia as an Aussie comes out on top again. And a bit more rain will spread east through South Australia today, but I'll have the full national weather details for you after the break. figures show Brisbane is the worst performing domestic airport in the country when it comes to delays. Jonathan Lee joins us now live with more details and Jono, just how bad is it? Take a look at the markets now. Wall Street is trading higher with the Dow up 148 points. Two commodities in gold is trading at 1,291 US an ounce, while oil is fetching 104 US a barrel and one Aussie dollar is buying 92 US cents. Time for sport now with Scott McKinnon and Queensland has an injury concern ahead of game one already. Yeah, it's one of their best players too, Hermione. Big centre Justin Hodges is battling an ankle complaint, but at this stage, the Queenslanders, they're not too concerned. Meantime, Blues captain Paul Gallen initiated a booze-free bonding night in Coffs Harbour. That's what you call getting cold feet. Oh, and you gosh. remember the rock as well. It was huge that he gave her. Very impressive. Mm. Oh, that's sad news. All it right, is. thank you, Scott. Well, Amanda Duval joins us now with a national weather forecast. Good morning, Hermione. We'll be seeing a bit of rain and some thunderstorms across Western Australia and South Australia today. We can see an area of cloud is thanks to a trough here. We've also got a cold front approaching the southwest and a cold front that's approaching the southeast of the nation will also deliver well. us some rain. We'll get to a max here. of 23 degrees and showers will increase throughout the day in Perth and thunderstorms this evening could bring some gusty winds and some heavy rain. Hermione? Thank you, Amanda. And that is 10 Eyewitness News for now. We'll have updates during the morning. Now here's the team at Wake Up.